Me, the predator, that steals its prey's defenses for its own use. This is Glaucus atlanticus, also known as the blue dragon. Whenever the blue dragon consumes the, um, the Portuguese man of war, it'll actually take some of those stinging cells and actually has sacs that it stores them in on its own body. Now he's protected because if anything touches it, it will get stung just like if it would have touched the Portuguese man of war. The gastropod floats upside down. The blue seen is actually its underside. The color is countershading to protect it from predators. When they viewed from the top, they blend in with the sky above. And viewed in from the looking down at the ocean, they blend in with the ocean. Dr. David Hicks said the sea slugs grow about 25 millimeters long. They're usually far offshore in the open sea, but the Padre Island National Seashore reported sightings of blue dragons this month. Hicks said currents could pull pockets of water mass with the sea slugs and their prey onto the shore. So if you see a lot of, you know, uh, Portuguese man of war on the beach, then that's be a time you might want to walk around and look for a blue dragon because they could be there as well. But remember, the blue dragons have their own form of fire. Marvel at how pretty they are and maybe Take a picture, but I wouldn't pick one up.